Hi and welcome to standard 19. Standard 19 we are going to use trigonometry to solve side length. Let's read the standard. Standard is right here. Standard 19 focus. There we go. Uh, students use trigonometric functions to solve for an unknown length of a side of a right triangle given an angle and a length of a side. Okay, so the problems associated with standard 19 there we go are from 79 down to 83. So those are the problems we'll be doing right now. So let's look at 79. 79 says, in the accompanied diagram, measure of angle A equals 32 degrees and AC equals 10. Which equation would be used to find X in triangle ABC? Okay, so this is our angle of record. And X here is our opposite. And 10 is our adjacent. So what we've got is an opposite adjacent problem or a tangent problem. So the first thing I'm going to do is write this problem. It's going to work like this. Tangent of 32 equals x over 10. Okay, so let's look for that. Tangent of 32 equals x over 10. Okay, problem is we don't exactly see that anywhere. We don't see it like that. What we see is that in each case, x is alone. So let's rewrite what we have to get x alone. Um, we would get x alone by multiplying both sides by 10. So, there. We cross these out, and we get x equals 10 times the tangent of 32. So that looks like a pretty good answer. Let's see if we see that anywhere. No, no, yes. There it is. C. So C is going to be our answer. Just takes a little patience, and you'll get it. Okay, uh, next problem is number 80. The diagram shows an 8-foot ladder leaning against the wall. So, here's our 8-foot ladder leaning against the wall. It's always a ladder and a wall, I guess. Okay, the ladder makes a 53-degree angle with the wall. What is the closest to the distance up the wall that the ladder reaches? In other words, how far is this? Okay, well, um, if this is our angle of record, then we're talking about a hypotenuse here, and we're talking about an adjacent here. So the type of problem we're going to be using, so ka, ka, ah, cosine. So we're going to be doing cosine. So the cosine is 0 0.60. So in other words, the cosine of 53, which equals 0 0.6, equals question mark over 8. So if we want to know what question mark is, we're going to multiply both sides by 8. And the 8s will cross out there. We get question mark equals 8 times 0.6 or 4.8 and there you have it the answer is certainly B okay so that does it for number 80 81 now triangle D JKL is shown below which equation would be used to find the length of JK so we want to know this so I call this X you can call it question mark you can call it N you can just call it JK if you like Okay, clearly our angle of record is going to be this one, at least unless something funny goes and we have to solve for this one, which can happen. By the way, you may have noticed this is certainly not a scale drawing. There's no way that's a 24 degree angle. So um, don't try to estimate by what it looks like. That usually doesn't work. Okay, so um, our x is our opposite and our 28 is our hypotenuse. So what we've got here is that opposite hypotenuse is sine. Sine of 24 equals x over 28. Alright, so let's see if there's anything that looks like that. Sine of 24 equals JK over 28. Well, JK and X are the same thing, so that is our answer. Nothing more to it. You're not going to find another one that says the same thing, so that's going to be the one. A. Alright, moving on to number 82. What is the approximate height in feet of the tree in the figure below. Okay, so we've got this angle here, 50 degrees, and we've got 100 feet for our hypotenuse. We want to find the height. Well, the height from there is called the opposite. So what we've got here, again, is another opposite hypotenuse or sine problem. So the sine of 50 equals O over 100. And of course, we need to use this, so it's going to be 0.766 equals O over 100. So we multiply both sides by 100. When we multiply this by 100, 
Remember, easy way to multiply by 100 has two zeros, so we move the decimal twice to the right and we've got it. The answer is 76.6, .6, and that will be B. And that's it for 82. Okay, 83, what is the approximate value of X in the triangle below? Okay, not very imaginative, but hey, it's simple, straight to the point. We've got this angle, 35 degrees, okay, X here is the opposite. This time there is no hypotenuse given, it says it's an adjacent. So, what type of problem is it? That's right, it's a tangent, opposite over adjacent. Therefore, tangent of 35 equals X over 6. So let's figure it out. And it tells us the three things. The one we're going to use is tangent, because it's a tangent problem. So it's going to be 0.7 equals x over 6. We'll multiply by 6 on both sides. And we'll get 6 times 7 is 42. We move the decimal over 1, so we get 4.2. Look for your answer. Bam, there it is. B is the answer. That was 83. That's the end of standard 19. Thank you very much. Please rewind if you have any difficulty. See you next time.